lecture, I'm going to explain about conversion of regular grammar to finite automata. Regular grammar consists of four parts. One is V suffix N, that is set of non-terminal. Sigma means set of terminal. P means set of production rule. And S means start symbol. Whereas finite automata, that is machine M, consists of five tuples. Q, that is set of state. Sigma means set of input symbol. And the transition function, Q0 is initial state. And F is final state. Already I have explained about basics about grammar and finite automata in my previous video. I have given this link in description. Uh, now I am going to explain the rules to convert this regular grammar to finite automata. Then I will be giving one example for that. So let me start with the rules. So suppose I am having a production A tends to A B. So for this I will be drawing diagram that is finite automata as A is my present state and if input is A, next state is B. So this is the diagram for this, uh, for this finite automata. Suppose if I have a production A tends to small letter B and after arrow I am having only one small letter. So if I have a production like this. Then I will be drawing a state. A is my present state. And if input is B, I will be marking whatever. I will be choosing one more state name as any other state name. For example, if it is C. So this is my final state. So if, if there is after arrow, if I am having one only one character, then I will be right, drawing one more state as final state. So this is about the rules to convert regular grammar to finite automata. Now I'll explain this with one example. Question is written over here. Now I'm going to convert this regular grammar to finite automata. So the grammar is given over here. So G is equal to this non-terminal used here is V uh, suffix in is A, B, C. And these are the input symbol sigma and this is set of production rule up to this set of production rule and this is start symbol. So let's start with the solution. I'm going to uh, write all those step tuples here because we, I want to convert to finite automata. Finite automata consists of uh, five tuples that is Q, sigma, transition I'm going to draw here, initial state that is Q0 and F is final state. So let's start with this. So sigma already I know from here 0, 1 and ABC are the different state. Maybe I'll be writing one more state name. So I'll finish this later. Q naught and F I'll finish this later. So let me start constructing this transition function by using this production and by using this particular rule. In a production A tends to AB. So I'll be taking A as present state and small letter A as present input and capital letter B is next state. Same thing I'm going to apply here. So A is my present state. If input is zero, my next state is again A. A if next to production, A if input is one, next state is B. Now I completed these two. Now I'm going to the next production, B tends to one C. So B if input is one, next state is C. So I completed this. Now I'm moving to the next one. So B tends to C, 0. B tends to 0. So if after arrow, if there is only one small letter, our terminals, our numbers, I'll be introducing one more new state as final state. So same rule I'm going to apply over here. So B if input is 0, I'm going to choose one more state name. You can give any name. I'm going to give the state name as D. So one more state I have used is D here. So Z, if input is zero, I have drawn final state as D. So this is my final state. Now I completed this. Now I'll move to the next one. So that is C if input is zero, next state is A. So C if input is zero, next state is A. So C if input is one, I'm moving to final state. So here initial state is A, 
and this is my transition diagram. So for this regular grammar, I have constructed this finite automata.